Hi boys and girls, Ms. Pickowitz here on Thursday, August 27th, with your social days lesson. And today, we're going to be learning a little bit about the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm going to read a short book on the Pledge of Allegiance, then we're going to practice saying it. We're going to do I say, you say, and then I'll say it one time. And then, you need this paper right here out of your orange folder. And I will tell you what we're going to do with that at the end. So put that on the table in front of you with crayons and a pencil. And we're going to get started. And the book I'm going to read is called The Pledge of Allegiance. I'm going to read it off my tablet. And the author and the illustrator are the same person. She did all the work. So Kristen Chang is the author and the illustrator. She wrote the words, which became the story. And she also drew the pictures as the illustrator. Here we go, it's called the Pledge of Allegiance. What is the Pledge of Allegiance? Americans say the Pledge of Allegiance to honor their country. They stand and place their right hands over their hearts. Saying the pledge shows belief in freedom. It shows belief in fairness. A long history. So Francis Bellamy wrote the Pledge of Allegiance in 1892. That's over a hundred and twenty-five years ago. Francis Bellamy wrote the words. He's the author of the Pledge of Allegiance. It first appeared in a kid's magazine. What the pledge promises. It promises to honor the flag, believe in our country, everyone sticks together, and everyone is free and equal. Later, Congress made it a symbol for freedom. A symbol means it stands for something. Since then, it has changed a little and new words were added. Americans say the pledge to respect the flag. Lawmakers say it at meetings. People say it in schools. The pledge tells us we live in the land of the free. And that is the end of the book. So we're going to practice saying the Pledge of Allegiance and the words to the pledge are right here in your paper. And we're going to do echo. So I say, and then I'm going to give you a chance to say it after me. So I'm going to say, and I'm going to put my right hand, and I'm going to put it over my heart, just like this. So I'm going to say, I pledge allegiance. You say it. Good job. To the flag. Good job. Of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands. Good. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty. and justice for all. Fabulous. Now we're going to say it together. So now you're going to say it with me, but I'll go slow. And keep your hand over your heart. Right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, 
one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job, boys and girls. Now, this is what you're going to do. Of course, with your pencil next to this four-letter word right here, N-A-M-E, name, you're going to write your name like I wrote mine. Then at the bottom of the paper, it says, we say the pledge. We say the pledge. And there's a period at the end. That's a sentence. And you're going to take your pencil after you write your name, and you're going to trace on top of the dotted lines, and you're going to write that sentence. We say the pledge pledge and you can even take your finger after you trace on top of it and you can point to each word as you read it again we say the pledge then you can color your flag red white and blue and of course if you don't want to color the white part don't color the white part but i can't wait to see your pictures of your flags so i'm off to record another lesson for you guys and i will see you later bye